guys, Dr. Dex here. Uh, today we're framing away. We're framing on our upper level deck. We have our main deck and then we're putting another one on top of that. And to get a framing inspection so that we can start laying decking, we have to finish this frame first so that we can get the inspection so that we can continue building. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. All right, let's get going. All right, so uh, we have our house cleaned up and we put G-tape on the house and G-tape's a waterproof membrane tape to protect the side of the house and in case any moisture ever gets back here, which hopefully it won't. Now I've chalked the line with my chalk line uh, and I've put it an inch and an eighth below the level of the door. Now this door has a slight crown in it so the reason I go an inch and eighth is because our decking is one inch thick and I like to have about an eighth inch of play uh, so that my board will definitely fit underneath this door. If it doesn't fit under this door, we're in trouble. So that's ready to go. I've got my chalk line done. I, now what I have to do is figure out a length of the ledger that I want, cut it down, and then I have to lay it out and put all the fasteners on it and then we'll get that installed. After that's done, then we can figure out the elevation of our posts and kind of get those cut and start framing up this deck. The water's got to go somewhere. See what I'm saying? Because the decking's going to butt in. Right. Wouldn't we want it to way. drain on top of the decks are dry and off instead of We going... do, but it's still going to want to go this way. It's still going to want to go here and yeah. down. Um, so we got to create a spot. Awesome. So we have our ledger board installed now. Uh, it's right there. So we have it set to width and height. And... We have all of our ledger locks installed in it. So the next step is we're gonna justify elevation by using our Stabila um, LAR350. And then once we level that out, we'll be able to figure out the height of our two posts, what they need to be to continue building this deck. So there's a little bit of a funky roof line on this house. The deck is being shoehorned in between these two little offset roofs. Uh, it's just a detail that they did back in the day, but they weren't sealed up real well. So a lot of the lap siding on this house didn't even lap. It just was butting into this. So there's a potential leak there and somebody had butt into them and caulked them and just did some really funky stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a piece of Azek multi-width dark hickory to here cause that's the trim color of our deck anyways. And we're gonna dry this in and we're gonna put some Z-metal behind here to make this fit proper. Cause our deck's being waterproof. So if any water comes this way and then it hits this, it drains down and it doesn't rot it out because it'll be in Azek instead of in, in uh, traditional cedar or wood products. So because of that, I don't have those products here today. I'll bring those tomorrow. We'll frame some of the rest of the part of our deck today and then we'll get to that tomorrow and then we can put up our doubles on the outside edges of the deck.
so we have our posts in place for the upper deck. They're all braced in and ready to go. We have a process that we're gonna do to get this beam from the ground to the main level and then shift it to so we can get it from the main level to the second level. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Wish us luck. This is scary. See, yeah, see if you can push the whole thing. I might need you, boy. Yeah, just see what you can do. Yeah, that's good. Can you keep doing it, or are you there? You're, you're starting to slip off the... Oh, we're slipping? Yeah, you might just come back up here and grab the middle. You want him to go down anymore? Uh, you can come down here, yeah. I just think on three we should pick it up and move it over as far as we can so it hits this. What do you think? This way, you mean, or this way? I was thinking in. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Nice. Okay, now we got to take it towards Mackenzie. Ready? One, two. Good job. Yeah. Six more inches. One, two. Okay. Okay, watch Nazi's yeah. foot. Okay, guys, good job. Her whipped. Ooh. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. We didn't quite get the beam in place, but we'll have that done tomorrow, and then uh, you can see us on the next time we're here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent day.